Today, I'm going to show you exactly how I help my clients scale their Google Ads campaigns. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Mike Mancini, a Google Ads agency owner for the last nine years. Now, when I start working with my clients, the whole goal is obviously to get them spending more money in Google Ads because they are getting a great return from it. Now, I wanna preface this video. What I'm going to walk you through is what you need to do once your Google campaigns are running well. We will add some more videos here very shortly, uh, um, more about optimization and how we get our campaigns to that point. But a lot of questions I get are, how do I scale my campaigns for my clients? So let's jump into an account and I'll show you exactly the process that we go through. So here we are inside a live Google Ads campaign. As you can see, this is for rug cleaning, like oriental rug cleaning, area rug cleaning, things like that. Now, as you get started, one thing you need to understand is just how much is an actual client worth to this particular business. Now, when we started this campaign, we knew the client was willing to pay $60 a lead. As you can see in all of these ad groups, uh, we are below that $60 number, but let's dig into it just a little bit deeper just so you can understand my thought process. Let's go into the keywords. Now, a lot of you won't see these keywords uh, with the plus signs, the uh, modified broad match because they no longer allow them. But what we want to look at is the cost per conversion. And as you can see, there's one here that's 58. There is one here that is 59. Those are creeping a little bit towards the high end, yet they're still below our $60 threshold. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave those right now and we're gonna go in and we're going to modify the ads that are running and see if we can't get this cost per conversion down. Because as you can see in this campaign, the conversion rate is really good. I mean, across the whole campaign, the conversion rate is 30%. So we're okay with that. The Google ads will typically follow the 80-20 rule. 80% of your business will come from 20% of your keywords. What you wanna do is you wanna find out those 20% of those keywords as fast as you can, and then put most of your budget towards that. With that in mind, let's say that we're happy with the keywords that we have. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna figure out just how much we can increase the budget. A lot of clients will say, what if we double it? And they automatically believe that if they're getting 100 leads for let's just say $1,000, that if they put $2,000 in, they're gonna get 200 leads. That's not exactly the case. They may run up against a barrier of searches. Maybe not enough people are doing searches. Maybe they kind of tap that out. Um, if you increase it incorrectly, you will kind of send the Google algorithm just kind of in a twist and it will mess everything up. So here's how we do it. Before you get started with this, a couple of things you need to know. Number one, what is the client's close rate? So I'll ask them, if you get 10 calls today, on average, how many of those do you close? And let's say they say eight. Maybe they're awesome sales person, maybe they have great sales teams, whatever it might be. What I will typically do is I will cut that in half. I'm not saying that they're lying, but I am saying that a lot of the time that number's over exaggerated. And then when we get really far into an account, we, you know, they're like, why aren't we getting more business out of this? We're getting the leads and then we find out because their sales team has dropped the ball or whatever. So I will typically cut that in half or cut it down by about 40%. So if a client says, I will close eight out of 10, I'll cut that down to maybe four or five. So for our example, we'll just say five. Now, if you have a really outstanding client who tracks everything to a T, 90% of your clients won't do this. We try to train our clients and say, listen, if you know that the call is coming from Google Ads, you need to put that in your CRM or make a note of it in your system so that at the end of the week, you can have your assistant go through and say, okay, we got 30 calls this week. How many of them did we get business on and add that number up? I have a client in the auto repair business and they were spending very little money. I think they were spending like $1,000 a month, but they were making eighteen dollars to $25,000 each month on that. And at the end of the month, the client would call me and she'd say, okay, this month we made $19,275 off our Google ads. That is an amazing when you get a client that does that because then you can truly help them scale and you know what the numbers are. Most of your clients do not do this. And we try to train them on, listen, the better you are at tracking, the better we can help you scale your campaigns. Also, I need to know on average 
uh, exactly how much they're making per new client. So I say, all right, Mr. Customer, if I'm to get you one of these clients, on average, how much are you gonna make? Now, most business owners will know this number pretty close. So the, they might say $350, $400, $500, whatever it might be. This client I happen to know uh, will tell us they'll make probably around $375. So we have two numbers. We have $375 on average of revenue for that client for uh, per job, as well as a close rate of 50%, which I took from 80 and kind of chopped down a little bit to 50. What I will say to the client is, you're spending right now $5,000 a month. One thing that we don't wanna do is we don't wanna add, take more money for your marketing budget out of your pocket. What we wanna do is we want just a piece of your revenues to funnel back into Google Ads. I will say, you know what? Why don't you give me 5% of that this month? 5%. We can add that into the Google Ads budget and they're not feeling the pinch, right? They're not like, okay, I gotta come up with another thousand dollars out of my pocket. We are saying, give us a piece of what you've made off the Google Ads and let's funnel that back into the account. Now, we're not gonna do it all at once. One thing you have to watch out for is you don't want to increase the budget too quickly. On average, we will take an account and only increase it 20%. So if it's a $5,000 budget, we would not raise it any more than 20% at one time. The way we do it is we increase it 20%, which would be up to $6,000, and we would let it run for three or four days. That lets the Google algorithm kind of realize, hey, there's more money in this account to play with. We can spread this out. One of the biggest mistakes people make is they will just like say double the budget. So they'll take a budget from five grand and move it to $10,000 and they expect the same results. But you've just kind of thrown the Google algorithm completely out of whack. So you have to do it in increments. If we're raising it, you know, maybe that maybe the client says, hey, I do want to increase it from five to $10,000. The way we would do it is we would raise it a thousand dollars and let it run for three or four days. Then we would raise that $6,000. We'd take 20% of that and raise it by that number. Let it run for three or four days and keep doing that until we get up to the client's max budget. Then the next step is at the end of the next month, we have the same conversation with the client. Okay. You got 110 leads this month. On average, you close 50%. Here's the revenue number you'd make. Give us 5% of that. And let me show you using this example of a $5,000 a month budget by raising it 5% each month. So in this example, let's say month one, they have a monthly budget of $5,000. They have a cost per conversion that we took from the campaign of 46.50. That's average cost per conversion. So they would get 108 conversions out of this budget. So they say they close, right, 70, 80%. We brought it down to 50. We're saying they're gonna close 54 out of those 108. Their average revenue client is $375. So the total revenue that they're gonna make is approximately 20,161. So once again, we have that conversation with a client, give us 5% of that. 5% of that is $1,008. So what we're gonna do is we are going to add it to this number. And then we're gonna pretend like all of the rest of these numbers are the same. Cost per conversion, con uh, close rate, and everything else. And here's what we get. Now you can see in month two, they made more money because we increased the budget by taking uh, money from what they've made off what we've already done. And we're only talking 5%, but they increased it uh, $4,000. So we follow the same process. And here's what it looks like after a year. Now, obviously the numbers get much bigger, much faster, but what you're gonna see is now they're spending $37,000 on ads, but they're making an additional $152,000 into their business. And once again, we didn't make them all of a sudden say, hey, we need $37,000 to run your ads. What we did was we showed them what was working. We took a piece of that, funneled it back into the ads, and help them scale their business. Now, one point I wanna make on this is we assumed that they were only closing at 50%. If they are closing higher, and chances are they are, but we played it safe. If they are closing higher, then these numbers are even bigger for the amount of revenue that they're making. Now, when I started using this process, I literally was working, uh, this is at the very beginning of my agency, clicks were much cheaper, this was, you know, nine years ago, 
And she was a therapist, a small office, uh, a small therapy office with only her as the only employee. And she started uh, spending about $300 a month in ads. And we started running it through this process. Within a few months, she saw her business double because we took what was working and we put more money towards it, but not by squeezing the client, right? By taking money out of the revenue that they were making. She eventually had to hire three more people. We've also done this with service businesses. We had a plumber we were working with who took his business from two or three trucks, I think at the beginning, to 14. So if you can get a business owner who is absolutely dedicated to scaling their business, a lot of them say they want to. And of course, we know they want to, but they have to be disciplined enough to not take the money, the extra money that they're making and funnel it all into their pockets. We're just asking for 5% of it. All right, so what do you think? Do you have other ways that you help clients scale their Google Ads campaigns? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear about it. And if you like this video, please do me a favor, hit the like, subscribe, that little bell icon. You'll be notified of when we release new videos each and every week. And over to the right-hand side, you will see some more related Google Ads videos. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it and hope to see you next time.